Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd likes to film stuff, and I'm finally having a chance to set up my drone. This is my Mavic Pro Popcorn. Popcorn, because that was the very first thing that popped into my head, as that's how I seem to name all things. Also, you guys seem to like the name as well, so popcorn it is. So right now I want to show the setup process, then we will also do a first flight, so let's go ahead and look at that. It really is not hard at all to set this guy up, and it's really quick. First, open the box and take out the drone and the controller, as well as other various cords that you're going to need to charge both the battery of the drone and the controller. So, unwind the adapter. You also have a cord that goes into the adapter so you can plug it into the wall. Next, get ready to access the drone's battery by pulling out the four legs of the drone. The two on the back swivel outward, where the two on the front pull outward. Grab onto the buttons on either side of the battery and pull upward to release it. Next, grab the battery adapter and plug it into the battery port. Nice thing is it's reversible. Then to charge the controller, you need your micro USB cable and plug it right into the same adapter that charges the battery. Unplug the left side port on the controller and plug in the micro USB cable. So here we go, they are now charging side by side. When doing testing to see how long it takes for the drone battery to charge, when it's at about 15 to 20 percent left, it takes about an hour. Once the battery is charged, go ahead and unplug it. It's really nice that we have a battery indicator that's going to tell you how much is left at any given time. Next, spread the arms of the controller and push your phone firmly down onto the connector that is appropriate. You've got two other ones in the box. Then push down the other arm to secure your phone. As a side note, you seem to be able to use a thin case or screen protector, and it's not pushing up my screen protector. Then make sure to pull up and straighten your antennas into position for the controller. Make sure to have the DJI GO 4 app installed. Also keep in mind you're probably going to have to do a couple firmware updates before the whole tutorial concludes. Now before turning on your drone, make sure to remove this plastic cap that keeps the gimbal and camera protected. You can definitely replace it later, but the idea here is to be able to get to the retaining bracket that makes sure that the gimbal doesn't bounce around. So go ahead, squeeze both sides, very gently pull upward, and the gimbal is free. Now finally, the fun part. Let's turn on the drone. Click down once, then immediately click down and hold, and this is going to turn on the drone. You can see the LED lights. No mistake there. Do the same thing with the controller. Click down, then quickly hold down, and it turns it on and immediately starts connecting. Though make sure you have Bluetooth on, or it will not connect. There we go. You are now free to mess around with the camera settings in any way that you would like. I will cover those in a later video. Now for taking pictures and recording video, we do have a slot on the side for a micro SD card slot. They give you a 16 gigabyte card to start. Let's go fly. Okay, so it's absolutely freezing out here and my hands are gonna completely fall off in a minute, but we, we're gonna do this thing. We've gotta launch popcorn for his first flight. How are you feeling? I'm not feeling. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem, okay. So let's do this. So, as I understand it, you need to press down once and then hold, and that turns on the drone. You start seeing the little propellers and everything move. And it's the same for the controller. So push once, then hold down. And you can see it says connecting. Brilliant. So, uh, so here is the DJI Go 4 app. Perfect. So you can see that it says ready to go because GPS. So it's got a really good signal up here. This display is nice and bright. We're in the beginner mode. I'm gonna choose 4K, 30 frames per second. Let's just hit none for color. Okay. So as I understand it, in order to get it to lift off, we just need to press right here. Take off. Ensure that conditions are safe for takeoff. The aircraft will climb to an altitude of four feet and hover in place. This is supposed to be stupidly stable. So slide to take off. Let's see if we can rotate around it just to see how stable it is. Wow. 
also on here, when you get too close to it, there's obstacle avoidance technology in the front. So go, go close to it in the front and this goes off. It recognizes there's an obstacle there. Okay, so now we have the drone up in the air. You can see it says it's about 13 feet in height and it's really not moving. That's impressive. They say that it can last for 21 minutes of total flight time. So. There's us, it's finally spotted us. All right, there it is. Let's see if we can land it. Slide to land. And there it is. Okay. So, that was the first flight. John and I are freezing. <sighs> That's, that's ridiculous. I did get a little bit of footage, and again, this is just the very first takeoff flight. When it's not so cold, I have a chance to do a bit more, but here it is. Landing was really nice and easy. It's excellent. You feeling anything yet? Uh, burning sensation. So burning is good. It means it's coming back my lips. My lips are cracking. It's that cold out here right now. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Whew. Okay, putting it back in the box. Thank you, Popcorn, for doing so well. <laughs>